Hey everyone, Craig Williams here back with another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to make some lead sounds uh, using Silent One. So if you've been following along through the tutorial series on Silent, um, in the last one we covered bass sounds and then one before that was effects using uh, envelopes and, and uh, LFOs and also the filters. So this one's just going to carry on and do much of the same but just making some lead sounds. So so you guys don't have to listen to me mash the the keyboard because I'm just using this on my uh, just doing it on my laptop. I've just made this little MIDI line. It's kind of crappy, but it's just so I don't have to keep playing and you don't have to keep hearing me hit the keys all the time. So um, first up, we're gonna go and initialize the preset so that brings it back down. So that's the sound we've got there. And if I turn it down while we're creating the sound, you'll be able to hear it actually take shape. So we go up. just there, so you can hear what's going on. So first up, this is just going to be a single oscillator going, and all the settings as they are there, and we're just going to pull up the release a little bit on it. Going to change it to mono legato and give it some portamento. So if I was to go, you can hear that. So that just adds a little bit in there. Uh, next up is adding a, a, the uh, filter and just pulling down the cutoff. So that should be pretty inaudible for you guys down at home and you can, the volume is fairly low there. Uh, we want to pull up the drive to add some of those harmonics and then we'll cruise over to the mod envelope and we're just going to modulate uh, the, the filter using this envelope here. So we want to first up before I do that is the amount that we want so you can see up here there's a number and we want a positive see if you go negative we want a positive amount and just around just over three should do uh, obviously you fine tune this as you're going along so you can hear there it's already getting that nice little pluck sound and then pull up the sustain to get the nice sustain in the filter and then up with the release a little bit. Warm drive on and just pull up the key tracking a little bit there. So this is a pretty simple uh, little synth. Next up we're going to go over to the LFO section and pull it around to Say around to one eighth notes and just give this a little bit and we're gonna modulate the pitch and just pull up the gain a little bit. Gives that little vibrato sort of sound, so you gotta be pretty careful with how much you actually put in there. And that's about it. Uh, you can also go ahead and start to add some things like some distortion, a bit of EQ, and just dial that back a little bit. So there you go, there's the first sound. Next up, now I'll just 
let you guys see all that real quickly. I mean, obviously, you, you can just pause the video and um, while you're following along at home. So the next one, we're going to initialize the preset and start from the top. We're going to go and pull first oscillator down two octaves and the rest we're going to leave the same. Um, in the amp envelope, we're just going to pull up the decay a little bit and the rest is pretty much good. And then this one, we're going to pull this down two octaves again. Uh, actually, no, we're going to do it on the other side. So that's all from... So you can hear that working away there, it's nice and low. Cruise over to part B and we're going to pull this down two octaves. Uh, pull up one there uh, and we're going to invert it and then we're going to get the phase. Makes it nice, a thick sound so you can hear it there really thickens the sound up. Um, from there, just pull up the release a little bit. Next we'll go back over to part A and we'll change that to a um, bandpass filter. We want to pull this all the way down, give it a fair bit of resonance. We're going to really sort of make it scream and then we want to go to the mod envelope. We want to go cut off A, so that's going to affect this. Pull this around to about about four, and then lots of decay there, and lots of release, lots of key track, and. Uh, and we want to, so wrong filter. So we want to select A and B. Um, and that's pretty much about it for it there. Want to go over to the distortion. Like I said, this is a pretty sort of simple yeah. just sort of pull down a little bit. Could also just transpose it up. So there you go, if I just... It's almost sort of uh, guitar-like with the sound, so uh, you can just play around and get some cool little effects going with that. And that's about it for that one. Um, next one we'll go to is initialize preset again. And again, this is a, a fairly sort of simple one again, but um, obviously these are without any further processing. So you can um, start adding some plugins down here or whichever um, DAW you're using to add a bit more drive and compression and EQ and, and different effects and stuff like that. So uh, next one we'll make and we'll come across and this one's going to be a sort of like a horn sort of sound. So uh, I hope like it's kind of like the, uh, the old sort of 80 synth sound. Uh, we'll go plus one octave for that one. And here we go. 
four voices. Keep these the same, but I'm going to slightly detune it there. And we're going to pull the stereo all the way around. Um, we want a little bit of release. Next one over here, we're just going to go plus one again. And another sawtooth. And we're going to go four voices again. Again, detune and bring the phase around a little bit for that one. Uh, come over to the filter section, give it a little bit of resonance there, and a little bit of drive, not too much, you don't want it sort of distorted sound, you want a nice sort of clean sound. Uh, warm drive on there for a little bit. Uh, cut off A, uh, get the amount going first. You can start to hear there, it's making that sort of horn sound. You could probably go and just drop the pitch down it's a little bit high. And next we'll go to over to here, we'll put some of that natural vibrato back on again. We'll go to free this time, and we'll just go around to about the half. Give it a little bit, so around between 60 and 70. You can hear that it gives it a nice little sort of um, vibrato. That's about it for that one. You can start to play, obviously. Little chords and stuff like that, but um, there's some three really basic sounds for you guys. And sort of get you going and get you thinking about um, different applications for silent they're not just sort of flicking through presets uh, hopefully you guys got something out of this in the next one I think I'm gonna do um, pluck sounds and so yeah uh, if you enjoy the video make sure you go and subscribe and make sure you head over to my Facebook page and click like and you'll get some free music and there's also a bunch of free music on my SoundCloud so make sure you follow me on there to keep updated. Uh, i got some really cool stuff coming up so uh, make sure you keep in the loop and hopefully I'll see you guys out and about. Till next time, see you later.